guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup look using the new Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. I originally wasn't going to pick this up, like I say, with everything that comes out. But I thought, I'm a subscriber, I want to see what the hype is. It keeps selling out, so there must be a reason why it keeps selling out. It's got to be really good. I do have other Morphe palettes. Uh, I have the 350 and the 35B. I do like them, um, but she did a video saying that all of the textures and things like that in her one is slightly different and slightly better quality. Hence why I think it's more money. I think this costs me £37, I believe. Inside you've got all of the shadows. So you've got a mixture of warm colours and you've also got a mixture of some pop, pop of colour. So I'm not sure what kind of look I'm going to be creating. Hopefully a full kind of autumny look will come out of this. Um, but I never normally actually wear like cranberries. In the palette you've got shadows. They don't have the names in them unfortunately. I thought they were named something. I thought I might get a little piece of paper that has like the names on. Um, but it hasn't come with it. So I don't know if that's just in the UK or not. Um, it says this palette is dedicated to all of my loving subscribers. Jacqueline is one of the YouTubes I've watched for a really long time, so I'm really hoping good things from this palette. So, I've already done my brows, and I've used the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit in the shade 6. And then I've filled um, filled the rest in with the Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder in shade 5. For the eye base, I'm going to be using MAC Select Cover Up in NC42. So, I'm just going to be using a MAC 242 brush. Um, to kind of carve out my brows and set my eye base, put on my eye base. And I'm just gonna um, go over my brows with a bit of Gimme Brow, also by Benefit in the shade three. Um, it's just gonna kind of bring out the hairs a little bit more. Just gonna be taking this shade here, just like the second row down, basically in the middle. And I'm gonna be using uh, my MAC 224 brush. And I'm just going to pop that in the crease. It's nice and pigmented. You do get some fallout, but I expect that with Morphe shadows anyway. They've always been like that. So far, so good. Next, I'm going to use the shade just below the last one. So it's in the third row in the middle. And I'm going to be using my Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. Oh, this one's really pigmented. Damn. I'm just going to put this one um, slightly below that last colour, but still into the crease. This colour is so pigmented. I can hear the Manu Amy memes in the background as I say that. Wow, this is definitely better than the 350. I really, I don't tend to use the 350 a lot because um, I feel like there's too many of the same shade in it. And I feel like I do blend forever. And then I'm just gonna go back in with that 224 just to blend, blend that together. So for my brow bone, I'm just going to be using this far colour here. I'll link the um, shade names below just because I did think this palette came with the shade names, but it doesn't. I'm using the, a mini smudger BC435 from Royal and Lang Nickel. This one's really nice and fluffy. Do you know what? This colour is literally just like MAC Nylon looks the same. I'm going to use this deeper um, kind of purpley brown just down here which is on the second up from the bottom and I'm just going to place this on the outer corner and blend it into the crease. Now I, I blend my eyeshadows quite high up because I have slightly hooded eyes. 
I want to be able to see the shadow when I open my eyes. I'm just going to go in with this 227 Luxe Soft Definer by Zoeva and I'm going to use that warmer um, shade we originally used. It was the second colour we used and I'm just going to blend out this dark purpley brown with it just because we lost some of the warmth. So I'm going to be using this kind of cranberry shade in the palette and I'm going to use um, this kind of dense flat packing brush and see how well it does. I'm just going to pack that on the lid. Wow. And this is without any kind of damp brush or fix plus or anything. I never, I haven't actually got any fix plus, I've never used it before. Um, but I can always just use a makeup wipe to dampen my brushes. But this is completely by itself, which I'm kind of loving. There is actually a black in this palette as well. So, I think what I'll do is I'll use my 317 Wing Liner brush from Zoeva and get some of the black and line my lash line. I'm going to take the 231 that had some of that dark purple one and just blend those together. So I'm just going to be using my Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Primer. And I'm going to be going in with my Bare Minimals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. This is become my new favourite. And this is in the shade Cardamom 23. And then I'm going to go in with a bit of Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in Tan Sand. I have a bit of discoloration around my mouth, so I usually put my highlight here as well. The other side, I'll just go in with my Laura Mercier powder. This is a translucent one. And with the other side, I'll just bake my under eye. Just gonna set my face with the Maybelline Fit Me powder in 355 coconut. I've had this powder for ages. Um, they have come out with a new one since, which I think is more of an upgraded like formula. Also darkens it a little bit. I'm just going to go in again with that Zoeva 231 Petite Brush with that dark brown shade we used earlier. I'm going to be going with the 227 again, which had the warm brown shade on, and just blend underneath. Kind of smoke it out a little bit. And then I'm just going to be using my Real Techniques contour brush just to get rid of the rest of the translucent powder on my face. So for the rest of the face, I'm just going to be contouring with Benefit Hula. And this will give me a little bit more definition. And then using this angled kind of dense shading brush, I'm going to be using Hula again just to contour my nose. I've got the Nip and Fab Blusher Palette and I'm going to be using the shade, I believe Whisper, which is just this brownie one here. So I'm just going to be using Opal from Becca. I'm just going to focus up on the top. Mm -hmm. A little bit on the tip of the nose. So easy to go over for with that one. So I'm just going to set my face with the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. Comes out like a hose. So for the mascara, I'm going to be using the Their Real Benefit Mascara. And 
then to finish off the face, I'm just going to be using the YSL Tattooage um, Matte Lipsticks. This one's in the shade 22. So this is the finished eyes. This isn't the look I'd normally go for, um, but I wanted to have a feel for some of the shades in the Jacqueline palette. And I think this is actually a really nice palette. It's really worth the money. It is better quality than the other Morphe palettes as well, um, so far from what I've tried. So I'm liking the look. If you liked the video, make sure you subscribe before you leave. Leave a comment down below for me. I'll reply to pretty much everyone. And um, don't forget to like the video so that I know that you're actually liking what I'm posting out. Thanks for watching guys, bye.